Alright, so I have to do this the eighth time because my dang mic didn't want to work. Okay. Let's see. So I'm gonna just go pair. So I'm gonna teach you how to make it so that your attack distance and stuff like that is a st strategical advantage to how you play the game because there are ways to change it so you don't just go up here. Just let me reset the defaults. So now it'll move up here, it'll get real close, but then what if like, for example, it's a larger shift than you. You can't fight that easily without having a lot of issues if you're a smaller ship because that'll probably shred through your ship so if this had weapons it, this would be gone right now but if you want to have a better advantage toward enemies in this game you're probably going to want to back up and get a bit more range if you have more precision than power because cannons and heavy lasers and stuff like that will miss constantly if you're at a longer range. They'll still do damage when they do hit, but they'll miss a lot more than they hit. I actually use this a lot, so what you want to do is you want to press shift. I usually pause the game so that I don't take unnecessary damage while I do it. But I press shift, and then this menu comes up. So this, it stops your attack pattern ent entirely, so you're just not going to be attacking it anymore. Well, you will be, but it, you won't be like attacking it constant, consistently with an attack pattern and stuff like that. This changes the direction of your ship. So if you want it to face sideways while attacking, say there's a bigger enemy on this side, you want to take damage to the shield instead of your um, engines. So right now I'm using a Model S for this. And you take the blunt of the force to the armor and the shields and stuff like that while you're still firing at the ship that you want to take down. So you can do that, and you can also move your range. That red line, that is your ranges. So this red line is what you want to be looking for. At the end of that red line is the end of your range. So if you're here, then that'll be the end of your range and stuff like that. So they'll have a lot harder time hitting you, but you'll also have a bit of a harder time hitting them. But if you have like a weak point you want to hit, like this, where you can go all the way through all the armor, just kind of like pop right into the center to kill off the control room and disable the ship, and go right through the corner. So what you want to do to select all of these, so you can select one at a time and do this. That will take a very long time though, or you could just press that and then press shift and then you can right click, right click, right click, right click over and over again until you have Everything you have, we want to destroy right there, and then you can do this. Right, go through the control room, destroy the air hatch if you want to. But that's that's actually how you get into the ship. So if you have like a piece of a, a dead pirate ship and it still has the airlock, you can transfer crew to it. But I'll do that in another one. So this it'll shred right through into the center, but then it'll just hit the shield. It'll try to get it, but it won't be able to. So what you want to do is you want to move it to a position where it can. So just line up that red line with the center of where you want to hit it. Go as far or as, uh, as close as you need to, but that will ultimately make you hit your mark. You will hit your mark on that one. It'll go straight through, and that's, that's a very good advantage to have because then it gives you like a strategical adventure against bigger ships because you can use their little weak points to... Ha uh, hurt them and destroy them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this actually and move it over a bit so that it can target where am I? I can target that better because now it hits the inside a bit more, but it's still not enough. So you can go over here, change it some more. <coughs> not enough still. I don't know how, but change it even more. Why? Why? Stop. Please, if I turn you more, you will... There you go. And then you can turn it more that way. 
take out the other shield, move however you need to, and now it'll go straight for the center of the ship, and now the ship's gone. It's just junk. It, you've already killed it. It's dead now. So, it, it's, it's very simple to take out a, a large ship. It's a lot less complex than you think it was, because you just, like, press space, press shift, target a weak point, and it's dead, pretty much. It's a simple way to take down a larger ship. Just make sure that you're at a far range if your things are more accurate. Because otherwise, you're going to be in a very a pretty, pretty big of a pickle if you're getting cannon blazed by everything else around you and you're just aiming for that one ship so you want to keep your range and you want to make sure you're facing the largest target so your armor can take the brunt of the hit anyways i think that's it for this tutorial on cosmetier all right well i will see you in the next one